Hello everyone, it's me, Raquel from Succulents Box. Welcome back to our channel with a very important plant care session today. Let's learn how to tackle the number one succulent killer, root rot. Fortunately, in most cases, you can still save your beloved succulents. First, let's take a look at the reason why succulents develop root rot and the signs of root rot you need to identify. Basically, when the roots are constantly exposed to too much moisture, they can't breathe properly and end up getting damaged or rotting. Succulents usually develop root rot due to overwatering, poor drainage, or being planted in unsuitable soil that retains too much moisture. Sometimes, root rot can be caused by pests or fungal infections that leave the root damaged or rotting. There are a few signs that you can look out for to determine if your succulent has root rot. One of the biggest indicators is if the leaves start to droop, turn yellow or brown, and easily fall off. Another clue is if the stem near the base feels soft or mushy to the touch. If you think your succulent might have root rot, you need to check the roots. Healthy roots should be a light color, like white or light brown. But if they're dark brown or black and feel mushy, that's a sign of root rot. Now let's learn how to treat this problem. The first method to save a succulent from root rot I will be telling you about today is the drying technique. You should stop watering, take your plant out of the soil, and place it in an airy spot and let it dry out. You don't have to cut off any part of the plant, but this method only works if the rot hasn't spread from the stem yet, and it's best done before the leaves start yellowing. The second method is to trim off the roots. You can do this by trimming off the infected area a few centimeters above where the rot is. This will help remove any rot in the internal part of the roots as well. After trimming off the rotten part, it's important to let the cuttings callus over for a couple of days before replanting them. The third method is to use powder sulfur. This method is effective for root rot caused by fungi or bacteria. To use sulfur, you'll need to first remove the affected plant from this pot and gently remove it as much as the infected soil and roots as possible. Then mix a small amount of sulfur powder with fresh soil and repot the plant in the mixture. The last and most critical method is to behead your succulent and propagate it. This method is recommended only when the rot has progressed to the whole root system and spread to the stems and leaves. You should cut about 2 inches above the affected area and let the cutting callus over for a day or two and plant it in fresh soil, placing the cutting in a warm, dry spot with lots of indirect sunlight. Avoid watering for the first week and protect it from direct sunlight. That's basically how you can save your rotting succulent. Here are some tips to help you prevent the root rot. First, use well-draining soil. Succulents need soil that drains quickly and doesn't retain moisture for long periods of time. Make sure your soil contains plenty of perlite, sand, or pumice to create good drainage. Any high quality succulent and cacti mix will do. Second, choose the right container. Use a container with drainage holes that allow excess water to escape. Avoid containers that are too large as this can trap moisture in the soil. Third, water your plants correctly. Succulents need water, but overwatering is one of the main reasons for root rot. Water your plants only when the soil has completely dried out and be sure to avoid getting water on the leaves or stems. Fourth, provide adequate sunlight. Succulents thrive in bright, indirect sunlight. Make sure your plant is getting enough light to help it grow a strong and healthy root system. Fifth, keep an eye out for pests and infections. Pests like fungal gnats and mealybugs and fungal infections can cause damage to your succulent's roots, making them more susceptible to root rot. You should regularly check your plants for signs of pests and take action if you notice any problems. That's it for today's video everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and consider subscribing for more content. If you've got any questions or recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. Happy gardening! For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.